Welcome to Medwitch Made Simple. In this video, we're going to see about acute suppurative otitis media, which is also known as ASYM. It is the acute inflammation of the middle ear caused by biogenic organisms. It is most common in children and infants. Now, how do you get this infection? It is most commonly due to obstruction of the eustachian tube. Now, let's review the normal anatomy. The eustachian tube is a patent tube which connects the middle ear and the pharynx. It ventilates the middle ear. Now here you see the obstruction of the eustachian tube which leads to the development of negative pressure within the middle ear and the tympanic membrane starts to retract. Organisms such as streptococcus pneumoniae starts to build in within the middle ear and pus starts to form. And in the next stage, pus starts to build up even more and the tympanic membrane appears red and congested. Now finally the stage of separation. You see the pus fills almost the entire middle ear and the tympanic membrane is fully congested and it bulges out. Finally, the stage of resolution, what happens is that the tympanic membrane starts to rupture and the pus begins to leak out of the ear. Now, how else do you get this infection? You can get this infection via the external ear. Now, what are the predisposing factors? Recurrent upper respiratory tract infections, exanthematous fever such as measles and diphtheria, recurrent tonsillitis and adenoiditis. A streptococcus pneumoniae and haemophilus influenzae are some common bacteria causing ASOM. What are the symptoms of ASOM? Earache, hearing loss, and fever. After the rupture of the tympanic membrane, release of pus, the pain subsides and the fever decreases. The child begins to feel a whole lot better. What are the signs of ASOM? Initially, the tympanic membrane appears retracted on otoscope. In the late stages, the tympanic membrane appears red and congested and it starts to bulge out. And the line marks which are usually seen in the tympanic membrane starts to disappear. After the perforation of the tympanic membrane, you can see a central perforation of the tympanic membrane. The otoscope is really useful in the diagnosis of ASOM. What are the complications of ASOM? Acute mastoiditis, facial paralysis, meningitis and brain abscess. Now how do you treat this? It's by giving appropriate antibiotics, giving nasal decongestant drops to relieve the eustachian tube obstruction, giving oral nasal decongestants and in some cases you can do myingotomy. It is the incision of the tympanic membrane and drainage of the pus. It is done in severe cases. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Medbits Made Simple and tell us what videos you need in the comments below. Thank you.